book, a limulus polyphemus, otherwise known as the horseshoe crab. Let's go back to the classroom for our lesson. Hi, I'm Jonathan Glander. Uh, this is a horseshoe crab. They've been around for 445 million years. Uh, they are an amazing species. They are light brown with a dome-shaped shell. Uh, their tail is called a telson. It is used for flipping themselves over off their back. Um, they might look dull on the outside, but when you flip them over, they have many outer workings. These are their lungs, legs. Uh, this one's a male. You can tell because of its claws here. They have nine eyes, maybe ten, one on the tail, but that one's still under debate. When we harvest these crabs, when they come up on the beach to lay their eggs, we draw 30% of their blood. One quart of this animal's blood is worth $60,000. So during their mating season, horseshoe crabs go up onto the beach to lay their eggs. During this period, scientists and researchers harvest them to take 30% of their blood to turn into the limulus amoebocyte lysate test. LAL is, uh, this test is used on all medical instruments or medicine that is going to be put into the body. So prosthetics, needles, flu vaccine. Um, what this test does is if there's any bacteria, gram-negative bacteria specifically, it will clot around it and that tells us that it's contaminated and we can't put it into someone else's body. The FDA requires this test to uh, uh, be put on, to be used with all medical instruments. Once we harvest these animals, we, use, we take 30% of their blood to make LAL, or Limulus amoebocyte lysate. We use this for the LAL test uh, that we use on medical instruments. This test uh, detects gram-negative bacteria. When it does, it gels around this bacteria, which um, alerts us that the medical instruments have been contaminated and we cannot use them. The FDA requires this test on instruments that are going to enter the body, such as medicine, vaccines, needles and prosthetics. Endotoxins are things found in the gram-negative bacteria cell wall, represented by these blue dashes. They wreak havoc on a person's immune system and cause illness. When a gram-negative bacteria dies, they release these endotoxins into your body. This can cause illness and a good example of them is E. coli, which will cause food, po food poisoning. The reason horseshoe crab blood is so valuable is because of amoebocytes, which are their blood cells. These amoebocytes are copper-based, uh, which cause their blood to be blue. They are also the source of the gelling. Uh, this process, this gelling has worked for them for millions of years. When the horseshoe crab gets a cut, the amoebocyte then goes and gels around the cut to stop the bacteria that is entering. This uh, stops further blood loss and it allows, it does not allow bacteria to enter. Uh, this gelling is the reason we use their blood on our medical instruments for, with the LAL test. On the cellular level, when gram-negative bacteria die and release endotoxins, these endotoxins are then picked up by the amoebocyte cell. This triggers a three-chain protein in a large granule in the amoebocyte cell, which then triggers a two-chain protein also in that granule. The, um, then the granule sends out a proclotting enzyme which clots around these endotoxins. After that, a bactericidal found in the small granule uh, goes out and neutralizes the endotoxins. This complex process only takes about 90 seconds. Researchers have been noticing that less and less horseshoe crabs come back to common mating and harvesting grounds. Um, we also don't know how many survive the process of uh, us taking their blood, and we don't know how many survive once we release them back into the wild. Uh, scientists are trying to make a synthetic version of their blood so we no lo longer have to harvest from them. Remember, the next time you get a shot or a vaccine, the horseshoe crab might have saved your life. These amazing creatures have been around forever and we hope to have them even longer, but with uh, us harvesting them, we don't know how long they may last. Goodbye, horseshoe crab.